Hey everyone, this is Kevin Shriver from Downtown Pittsburgh Dogs here with a part two on the bathrooming habits, uh, potty training uh, for young puppies. If you watched the other video that I just recently made and posted up about the number of times you should be getting your puppy, depending on the age, you should be getting it outside, assuming you want to get it outside and you want to um, house train, as in you want the dog to be going to the bathroom outside of the house. This schedule does not qualify, um, or does not does not fall does not follow suit if you are trying to pad train your dog. That's another topic for another time. Um, most of my clients do not want their dog to be pad trained long term. If you are watching this right now and you are thinking about pad training your dog, um, as opposed to having it go outside, uh, and you have questions about that and you're concerned about it, let me know. You really don't want to do that long term. There's a ton of reasons why um, the, the, the benefits, or the, the, the cons really outweigh any benefits of uh, pad training. Um, I can explain those if you, and I, maybe I'll make another video on that. But I want to talk a little bit about water control in terms of what you should be giving your puppy. How much water should your puppy be getting um, so that we give it some wins, so to speak, for bathroom training. What a lot of people do with puppies, puppies are typically typically very food motivated just super excited about food most dogs are right with this is what they're used to they have to eat they have to eat so they're super concerned about eating 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 they're always concerned with putting things in their mouth and filling up their stomach well guess what um, if they eat all their food and then you give them a full bottle of water a full bowl of water a lot of puppies will just plow right into that water and just consume all of that well what that will lead to is it puts a lot of pressure, right? It's gonna go through them very quickly. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on their bladder very quickly. And if you remember, your eight week old puppy and 12 week old puppy should be going out between two to three hours, every two to three hours. If you give it more water, it's going to have to go, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on the bladder and you will need to take it out more often um, and it will also be prone to accidents, or I always say accidents, it'll be prone to peeing before its schedule. So one thing to be concerned with, as long as it's not super hot outside, it's okay to limit your puppy's water, as in give it like fill up the water bowl about a half an inch or an inch worth of water. This doesn't mean you restrict your puppy from all water, not at all. Let it have five to ten laps of water, but don't let it kind of crush the whole bowl of water. And if you only put in a half an inch or an inch of water, first of all, you get to maintain and you get to see how much water you're putting in. You get to be aware of that. But also, if they decide to consume all of it, that's all they're going to get. Again, the, the, the mistake that people make is they fill the puppy's water bowl to the top and the puppy just, every time it's playing, playing, running around, it just it stops and goes over and starts chomping at water. And then it's, it's drank, it's consumed two cups of water unconsciously and then, the, and then they go to the bathroom for a second, the puppy goes and unleashes its bladder somewhere in the house unsuspectingly. And you go, oh no, I just took them outside. What happened? You know, the water goes through them very, very quickly. I mean, their bladder is only like this big. I can't even make it. I mean, you can't even imagine how small it is. They're infants. They're just like children, right? And if you've had children, you understand that just they poop and pee all the time. That's what little babies do. So... As it relates to the water control, controlling the amount that you put in the bowl is a great practice um, if, you're, if your dog consumes a ton of water. Now, the other thing to work on is <clears throat> um, being conscious. Again, you always have to make sure you're getting the dog out. Getting the dog out on their schedule, depending on its age, is most important. The second thing you can do is a little, little magic trick here, is restricting the dog's water on some of the evening times. So, for example... After seven o'clock, after eight o'clock, don't give the dog. After you've given the dog kind of its last walk, let's say it's around eight o'clock or nine o'clock or last long walk, you may drastically reduce the and restrict the amount of water that the puppy has um, in this time frame. You may still take it out at ten o'clock for a quick pee. You may still wake up in the morning, you know, for another quick pee if the puppy's young, but then. Um, you're not letting it get up in the middle of the night and chug water. Um, you will help work with the puppy on getting it to stay, you know, 
basically learn to sleep longer because there's less water in the dog's bladder. Again, give the dog a couple of laps of water so it kind of wets its whistle. You're inside, it's in a controlled environment, you're not letting your dog sleep outside, so get just getting its, wetting its whistle is enough to keep the dog and keep it, uh, keep it happy and safe until, um, and hydrated until the morning time. It's also gonna work on your sanity because you're gonna help the dog sleep through the night. Um, again, eight week old puppy, yes, you may be having to do a late pee and definitely a morning pee with the dog, Restricting the water in the evening times will help. It's a quick tip. Will help uh, the dog sleep through the night a little bit better. You will only have to restrict water just as a heads up until about the you know four month mark. Um, the dog should be doing pretty well. Maybe you know by five or six months as well. Sleeping through the night is not a problem at all. If you have any questions on this, please leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Kevin Shriver from Downtown Pittsburgh Dogs. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day.